Larry David, the creator of Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm, gave a potent and hilarious answer when asked about Donald Trump on CNN last night. Take a look. So how much has the whole 2020 election and everything that has flowed from it pissed you off? Oh, I mean, you can't go a day without thinking about what he's done to this country because he's such a little baby that he's thrown 250 years of democracy out the window by not accepting the results of an I mean, it's, it's so crazy. He's such a sociopath. He's so insane. He just couldn't admit to losing. And we know he lost. He knows he lost. And look how he, he's fooled everybody. He's convinced all these people that he didn't lose. It's, he's a, such a sick man. He's so sick. Anyway, no, it hasn't impacted me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have more clips to play for you, but I love Larry David's sense of humor. And above all, he is a wise man. He is totally on point when he says that Trump effectively threw 250 years of democracy out the window by peddling this big lie about election fraud, about widespread election fraud months before the election even happened. On the day of the election, he took the podium and declared victory when only a fraction of the votes had been counted. Over the next few months, he doubles down on this big lie despite everyone telling him there is no election fraud. On January 3rd, he makes calls to different secretaries of states asking them to find votes. Two or three days later, on January 6th, he holds a rally walking distance from the Capitol at the Ellipse at the exact date on the exact time they were certifying our election results when our congressman and Mike Pence were inside the Capitol. Hundreds, thousands of his supporters began to storm the walls of the Capitol. Our congressman had to evacuate and our peaceful transfer of power was interrupted. Let me play a few clips from Curb Your Enthusiasm of Larry David with a MAGA hat on. I'm not playing with him. He's a Trump supporter. Never play with a Trump supporter. Oh, really? See him around town with that hat. Make America great again. I don't need that crap. He just, he makes me want not be anywhere near him. If you haven't seen the show, Larry David is very petty and antisocial, and he did not want to get dinner with this guy, so he tried to put on a MAGA hat to get the guy to walk away. Look at the looks that he starts getting. Really thinking about this Ethiopia thing. Yeah, actually, I heard that we have some budget cuts, and Ethiopia is a little expensive to shoot in. Wasn't that one of the shithole countries? I can't remember if that was on the list or not. Oh, look, I'm getting that thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. I'm, uh, my son's flight uh, got in early, and I got to get him. I got to go oh, get him. Really? Yeah, no, really. Let, let's uh, let's send, send an Uber or something. He needs to see me because he has uh, a little anxiety. No, no, you know what? To, Phil. No, no, we'll, 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 we'll something. I'm not done with the clips, but the MAGA reaction to this has been hilarious and they have zero self-awareness. Somebody on Twitter named I meme, therefore I am with a MAGA hat and his profile picture said, another holy weirdo, Larry David whines about Trump, resorting to name calling and can't even articulate what Trump did wrong. Number one, if you're worried about name calling, then Donald Trump might not be the candidate for you. Number two, if you're worried about whining, then again, Donald Trump is not the candidate for you. And number three, I expanded on Larry Davis' point at the beginning of the video about exactly what Trump did regarding the phone calls regarding January 6th. This guy goes on to say, people like him don't give an F about peasants like us. They don't care about how bad things have gotten for most of us under Biden. Is he implying that Donald Trump does care about the people? Because Donald Trump is the most self-centered person I've ever seen, even more so than any of these politicians, any of these celebrities. They would rather see our country completely destroyed than let Trump be our president again. I loathe these people with a passion. He's got it completely backwards because the reality of the situation is if Trump becomes president again, our country will be completely destroyed. Our liberal democracy will no longer be a thing. Project 2025 wants to strip away independency from different agencies. He wants to appoint civil servants underneath him so he can erode these norms even further. Sad, very sad, sad.
That is some very potent social commentary about just how toxic the MAGA hat has become in such a short amount of time that if you go out in public with it, people literally won't want to be seen with you. This is yet another example of people who knew Donald Trump for years coming out and telling us how terrible of a person he is. Larry David says he's a sociopath, he's a man baby, and this tracks on perfectly with how people in his cabinet have talked about him. We've seen everybody from Mike Pence to Bill Barr to Mark Milley to James S all coming out and saying Donald Trump is not somebody who should hold office. And now we see celebrities, people like Jimmy Kimmel who recently roasted him, even Christian Bale who was Batman in 2008 came out with a story saying when Christian Bale met Trump, he thinks Trump legitimately thought he was Bruce Wayne. Let me say that again, Donald Trump watched the movie Batman and then met the actor and thought the actor was actually Bruce Wayne. This is what Christian Bale said on the record in an interview. Larry David's full segment airs tonight, but after they played that clip, CNN did some analysis of recent polling that I found very useful. Play the clip. What Larry David was talking about there yeah. is election denialism, which is very much in the news this week, the RNC now reportedly with a litmus test asking people, did Donald Trump actually lose the election? Talk to us about what the polls are saying about this idea of election denial. Yeah, you know, if we look on Republicans, right? Republicans on Biden's 2020 win, legitimate. Let's go back to December of 2021. 39% said it was legitimate. 58% it was, 58 said it was illegitimate. Jump to December of 2023. Those opinions have not in any way shifted towards the actual truth. They have actually strayed further into the untruth. Now, 67% of Republicans believe that the 2020 election was illegitimate. Of course, they are on Fantasy Island. Everything that we know from the real data said that election was legitimate, yet Republicans are on this Fantasy Island. Some of that seems to be correlated to what they're watching on TV, yes? Yes, so this to me, I just, I, I love digging deep into the cross tabs and finding something interesting. Republicans who believe the 2020 election was legitimate. If you're a mainstream media follower, let's say you're watching NBC News, if you're a Republican, 58% of those folks believe the election was legitimate. But if you're following conservative media, look this, just 23% believe the election was legitimate. We're talking Fox News, we're talking OANN, we're talking Newsmax. Very few of those voters believe that Republicans believe the election was legitimate. Sad. Very sad, sad. Hey, what the fuck are you oh. doing? Oh, God. Motherfucker, what oh, the God. fuck? What are you trying to do, man? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, God. You little fucker. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. What the fuck? I'm so I'm sorry. I had to rip you out of that you. fucking car. You little shit. I'm sorry, I didn't see oh. you. Just be more careful next time, okay? okay. We'll do. We'll do. Okay. My name is Adam Mockler. If you made it this far, leave a blue heart emoji in the comment section. Leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.